jokes like why? Huh? I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to dry out underneath my lips, and I used to be able to like. <gasps> Me too. Top, when you would like go like this. It. Yeah, and you like like let it dry out, and you're like. <sighs> <laughs> Let's go gaming. My name is Derek, and today I'm joined with my lovely girlfriend Madison, her best friend Devin, and Devin's stepsister Ashley. As we re-adventure into the wonderful world of South Park, the Stick of Truth. You just introduced her as Ashley. It's not like she's not our friend or anything. Like, man. Okay, well. She just showed up. You want to? We'll use Kyle in battle because he we can actually change later. But I don't know if we've used him or not. I don't think we have. The um, omnipotent voice of a ghost. <laughs> Snoop abortion sequence oh. initiated. Begin electrolytic infusion. Oh, oh. 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 Cold. So cold. Devin, you're the best abortionist I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? Usually just my special abilities? Nope. Just <laughs> armor and... Mm -hmm. Well, no, they have, like, little mm -hmm. different oh, things. Oh, yeah, you can... We can put abilities on. No. Not that you have to. I'm just saying. I, I didn't know if they kind of came with, like, uh, already pre-programmed buffs. Let me see. You know. <sighs> Maddie, you should write a Dungeons & Dragons campaign based around, uh... A TV show like South Park? No. Like this? Yeah. That would just be a fanfic. <laughs> What's wrong with fanfics? There's nothing wrong that... with fanfics, and I have written fanfics, but I like I, I eventually want to do something with the campaigns that I make, or at least try to. Yeah, I was talking more like a one-off. You know. That could be Devin's campaign. Hey. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go with. I'm gonna change our one to fire instead of electricity. Oh, I like how the purple and the cape matches the crown. <laughs> the outfit the was shadow. really nice together. Like, oh, I mean, one. really, cool. we're styling. Mm. Can we put on that horror wig? <laughs> yeah, hold on. The one that's like literally a pampered whore, or something like that. I'm just add to yeah. that because we have. Devin is currently uh, Sorry, buffing, buffing us, us up, up for the uh, final yeah. fight. Final fight. Or final couple of fights. Yeah. 
spoiled whore. That's how. <laughs> no, it doesn't look right with her crown. Mm. Should be like a hairstyle that's like down or like a ponytail. <laughs> Lovely. Like Cleopatra. Yeah. Bun. I mean, can change it too. We can change I'm a, I'm a the sucker for a good bun. Oh, make it, yeah, make it like a purple. Oh, yeah. Derek just likes purple. This is the color we started with, remember? Yeah, because you said something yeah. messy fit about it. <sighs> purple is a royal color, and we have a crown, so there you go. It all matches. <laughs> he's still bent over. Well, he's probably in pain. <laughs> oh, cool, there's still like a huge battle going on. Why does he even need the stick of truth anymore if he has a barrel full of toxic waste that makes people Nazi zombies? <laughs> Fool! You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness! Clyde, back away from that stuff! Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to win. <laughs> is that legit, the or are they just making yeah, that well, up? Well, this is given. It was like 2014 no or so, 2015 when this yeah, came out. Green sauce and Taco Bell. So yeah, they, they, they had the Verde sauce. Is that not Taco Bell? Oh. Why did I find it? It's Taco Bell. It leaked out of a UFO cloud. It's toxic goo from another galaxy. Think about it. Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, oh, since about a year ago. It's fucked up what? a little bit. Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. Is it resurrecting somebody? Is it Chef? Yeah, no, oh, it's Chef! Oh, no! Putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss oh. it? Oh! I don't think I'm foolish now, do I? It wants oh. coming out of his stomach! Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Why is it Maybe brand? because Yay. I ate those chili peppers. But Chef was Darth Vader last time I saw him. Just give us a stick, asshole. Uh, or what? Don't beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise, it always makes you? me so sad to Ew. think about Isaac Hayes. Yeah. Is that ch uh, Chef's chocolate balls? Wait, what? Um, so the person who voice acted the character the Chef is named Isaac Hayes, and when <laughs> South Park did the Scientology episode, um, Hayes is a member of the Church of Scientology. So, like, I think it went down that the church told him. He would be like excommunicated if like he continued working for South Park. I don't th like a lot of people I think tell as like Isaac didn't like Trey and Matt anymore after the episode because of how they portrayed Scientology. But I feel like that really can't be true. I like, I mean, because they're they had a good friendship and Isaac Hayes is a pretty cool guy. So I, th I believe the story more when it's like the church probably forced him out. So they had to kill off the character of Chef and. I'm not sure how they did it, but then they brought him back they for used, the episode. They used voice clips when yeah. they brought him back like, to. Well, first he, um, like the, when he went away, oh, we and now? then he ended up, right, um, the he ended up like killing him off, and then. Because I was just watching that the other day, actually. Because every time like I'm trying to look for something for Ashley, like I see it, like the Return of Chef episode. Yeah, he was like a part of like a club of adventurers who were also like kitty nibblers. <laughs> um, to say the least. And it ends, the episode ends with like him like falling off like this really high bridge, like getting eaten out by like a lion, yeah, you back to life. Kill me and then like he like shits himself to death. And, no, no. But the club of kitty kitty nibblers like brings him back as like a Darth Vader type thing, where he's like Darth Vader, but his like. Mask has like a chef hat and everything. Uh, when we were doing the YouTube videos, probably. Yeah, it's kind of like blowing it. out my ears. <laughs> but it always makes me sad because, like, I like the character of Chef. I always kind of hoped that he would, like, come back in some aspect. But I think there. That happened, like, season seven. <laughs> there are now 20, so like there's been way, there's been over double the, or not, 
there have been more seasons without Chef than there have been with Chef, which is kind of like surprising to think about. Like, it doesn't seem that long ago that he was on the show. Yeah. Well, that's probably just because they replay a lot of, like, old episodes on there. Yeah. It is just kind of surprising to think that South Park's been on in, like, 20 years, like... Well, I was telling Ashley, um... Because, like, it started in 1997, when the first season came out, for their 20th season, like, it showed, it had previews, like, a guy was, like, holding his baby, and, like, South Park is on in the background. Um, like, she's going to preschool and, like, first grade and shit, and it's on in the background, and now, 20 years later, like, she's going to college, and there's, like, a Cartman sticker on the car or some shit. It's like, we've been there the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty epic. That's just, like, um, Simpson is, like, 30-something years now. Yeah. So, it's pretty insane to think about. Like, I think South Park's been on air long enough that if Simpsons were ever to go off air, South Park would replace them as the longest running uh, cartoon. Yeah. Which honestly, like, it kind of surprises me that, like, they have been along for that long, or around for that long. Like, even just The Simpsons, like, I'm surprised people still like The Simpsons, you know? Like, not that I don't like The Simpsons or anything, but like, the fact that it's been on for this long, yeah. and that they haven't, like, jumped the shark yet, or anything like that, you know? Oh, no, they've jumped the shark several times, like, uh... Yeah. I always fuck that up. A lot of people make fun of the... Oh. Oops. Well, they still got them with a few. It, I don't know, it's just people are always trying to make fun of the fact that, like, um, like, how tropish the Simpsons has become. They've become, like, their worst, own worst enemy because of, like, they repeat the same episode structure and everything, and, like, um, <coughs> the whole joke, you know, the Simpsons did it and all that. Yeah. And people especially, like, hate the character of Lisa. That I like Lisa. She is She's no fucking that's the point. People are stupid. That's my age. I don't like smart characters anymore. Unless it's Big Bang Theory, which is, you know, smart people pretending to be dumb. No, that's just, uh... The Big Bang Theory gets boiled down to middle-aged white women who watch the show and laugh, thinking, Haha, my son's just like that. <laughs> and then, like, their son's, like, face palm so hard, being like, you're the reason why people perpetuate you know, stereotypes about millennials and us being, like, hurts. weird nerds when, like, like I used to like acceptable culture. Big Bang Theory, but it's just, it's so overdone, and they're just, like, but some things they just shouldn't do, like, I don't think Sheldon should have ever gotten a girlfriend, you know, like, stuff like that, like, yeah, because they're, they're putting themselves in all these loops where they want to advance the character, but they don't want to break, um, Certain walls, like they wouldn't, yeah, like the whole thing, uh, you know, giving Sheldon a girlfriend, and then it's like, well, he can never get married, and like eventually they'll have to break that rule, and then it's just like gonna keep on leading to like the show's demise no, no. that it has to stay in the loop, or they have to make these said. compromising things where it's like, oh, well, they'll get married, oh, but then they'll get divorced because the marriage doesn't work, but this doesn't help, you know, the structure of the show. It's like the same thing I think people are talking about right now, because the, I don't know what their actual names are. The, the Bwalowitz's characters, like, the two that actually got married on the show, um, they just had a baby yeah. on the show, and, like, they didn't show a baby in the episode where it got born, and, well, and they're actually, like, just oh, it's gonna be mom. always off-screen, just like how the mom was, yeah. and, it's an, and it's an homage, and I'm like, no, that's just because, like, the ba a, a baby would not fit into the nerd dynamic. I'm not sure they Yeah, like, it would be hard to have, like, a baby on set. Like, I saw that. I was reading about it. Um, like, I get it. Because, like, it did happen so sudden with, um, with the woman who played uh, Howard's mom. But at the same time, like, they're trying not keep it alive, but, like, it's doing the same. Like, she'll always be heard, but you won't see her. 
Like, like I just read another thing that you're never gonna know Penny's maiden name. Like, she was just referred to as Penny. Yeah. And they made it seem like I'm it was sorry, supposed to be a show boy. for yeah, her. Yeah. But it's really not, because they over explained the jokes that people <laughs> that are into this stuff should already know. God, Clyde, come on! I don't remember it being this fucking long. Like I you think this is the last one, so it doesn't go up that much. I'm just getting fucking tired. <laughs> Also, just like I was saying, like, I I can't watch a show that doesn't have certain amount of character development, and Maddie's gonna hate on me right away with that, because she hates that I watch things like Kimmy Schmidt, where it's, like, only strictly comedy, but I think even there, there's a little bit of, like, this character's life changes by the end of the season, where it's, like, there's three, what they call three camera sitcoms, which is, like, it's on a stage, and, uh, it's... Uh, a whole scene is filmed in, you know, succession with just different cameras. It's not like they take breaks or set up shots or do anything. It's just like um, a stage show. Um, they don't have uh, character movement. Like, my mom watches uh, Two Broke Girls a lot. And, like, um, there's a storyline where, like, the one girl always wants to meet her dad. Her dad left when she was really young, and there have been so many episodes I've seen, and I keep on asking my mom, are you watching the same episode? She's like, no, it's a different one. Where, like, she almost meets the dad, but doesn't. Yeah. And, I, and then, like, at the end of the episode, she's like, friends really matter, or my cupcake shot is what really matters. And I'm like, you can't keep playing off this huge character development part and never uh, act on it, you know? Yeah, that's, like, another thing that bothered me. Like, they weren't broke anymore. They had their successful cupcake. Yeah, exactly. So I remember, like, when it got canceled, I was talking oh, to my dad about anymore. it. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banished thee. I banished thee. Still going. No, no, I'm sorry. Like, I was talking with my dad about that. I was like, they're not even broke anymore. Like, yeah. This is the, how much time do we have left? Because this is a long ass cutscene. <laughs> we did it, dude. That was sure. awesome. You did it. So a lot of time left in the episode. Oh. That an end. Uh, and all your is the next fight going to be just as long as the last you one you had? Yeah, but I think we have time longer. to change. Like, we can change that to our stuff. Because, like, this is, like, can't skip. Quickly, now oh. let's get the stick back to safety. Well, let's see how it plays out. Let's see how long this cutscene takes. We might have enough time. Most of this episode was your fighting chef. Yeah. Um. So it really is the yeah, dragon. the only exception I have to that rule about watching shows three camera, camera sitcoms is um, Full House. Uh, or Fuller House, I should say. Because, like, that and shows from that time, like uh, Fresh Prince or, like, um, Family Matters, like, I'm just a sucker for it. They're just, they're too cuddly and nice. I really like Full House. But I've probably said it many times on... What's going on here is much more board. complex than I really that. Don't like this what isn't the first is time a UFO has crashed shows. to Earth. Where you see, they basically in 1947, the season, a UFO crashed um, in Roswell, like, New Mexico. Here's all these problems, and like, we want to fix them, and during the season, they fix Hang on them a second. all, and like, a UFO you crashed see, in Roswell, it seems like and a new government good, agency was created to investigate the paranormal. And then by the end of the season, Our everything agency. was completely undone, we back this, to where you like, were at the first point. Or something? Yeah, oh, you know it's usually never circumstantial. It's like the decision of the protagonist to like fuck their wives up. Yeah, like Kimmy Schmidt, the first one, was like, oh, I got rescued from the bunker. Oh, like, there's a guy that I like, oh, I'm, like, trying to put my life back together and, like, go to school, and I'm working a shitty job, and then it's like, um, it looks like she wasn't gonna work in a shitty job anymore, she was, like, getting her GED, like, the GED is the only thing she accomplished, like, she started going out with a guy, and then, like, he all of a sudden, like, his amazing ability, she has a different love interest every season, yeah. Not even. The second season is the same love interest from the first one, but he's married. Yeah. And then they still don't get together. And then they literally spend the entire season like building them up. It's time to come with us, Dobekeen. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dobekeen? You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. Damn, again, naked. You are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever known. Oh. All you seem to really know <laughs> is this. It must be very important. What does it Is he gonna fly? No. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, uh, stupid. I'll I'll take some more time to actually censor this one. 
The other scene was hard because it was like the whole frame and it went on for minutes, but this one I can, you know, do a little cover up. I was talking about maybe you could just like do a little smiley face. I say all of you. I can do anything. Anything I want. I could do what um. Just put our character's face. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I'll do what other YouTube channels do and I'll put our character's face or I'll get like a Facebook profile picture from like one of us and just like cut out the face. No, you get like an ugly face if it's gonna be like us being like Ooh. Or uh, <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Oh. Join me, Dovahkiin. <laughs> Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here. Gonna whack you can rule with this once again. Maybe he's a grower, wait, not wait. a shower, Matty. Don't judge him. You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you recognize the character of our life. the spoiler. And, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. I just love this. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> What? Are they trying to like throw some lore in some here? Sense? You sell us all out? But why, Princess Kitty? Because Princess Kitty was born a half orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Oh my God! Really? Morgan just a Game of Thrones ripoff? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, oh. the first. <laughs> <laughs> they loved in secret and had a child. <laughs> A beautiful so they can dress us back up and we can probably she loved, stop here, but I want to get our fucking and that is why armor back on. Do you this? think you could do it in ten minutes? To take no. the stick okay, then I will say that that is all the time that we have for today. <laughs> and whatever time the next episode <laughs> takes, it'll take. And we'll either finish it by doing a long episode or we'll just have a super short episode. Either way, every time uh, I show we'll up see you then. And stay adventurous. Bye. Before Derek cuts it, I do want to say that all Netflix original shows are shit. <laughs> Such as like Sensei and stuff like that. Like those House are good. Cards. I would not say that I have not watched it. But uh, like Sensei, Seven Deadly Sins. Those are good shows. Not all of them are shit, but a lot of like the popular ones have kind of gone down the gutter. It's, it's okay, Maddie. We're, we have to make like a channel just for you to <laughs> vent about these things. Stranger Things is pretty good. Uh, I that too. That yet. But mm. season two has not come out yet for that, so we don't know if they're gonna do the same thing or not. But that being said, seemed like in season one they wrapped up the upside down, and season two, uh, the upside down is gonna be prominent again. So there's mm -hmm. that. <laughs> we'll talk after that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.